This day has finally arrived as tonight marks the final episodes premiering for Better Call Saul. We have six episodes left if you include tonight's episode. And if you're not caught up to the point where I am, if you're watching, you're watching Better Call Saul, then I highly suggest that you don't watch this video any further to avoid anything I might potentially spoil for you. Tonight's episode is season six, episode number eight. The synopsis for the episode is an unexpected visitor forces Jimmy and Kim to face the consequences of their actions. So, spoiler alert, I'm guessing that's Lalo Sanamaka um, regarding the death of Howard Hamlin because he shot Howard Hamlin at the end of Season 6, Episode 7 in one of the craziest moments on Better Call Saul. I mean, we figured Howard Hamlin was going to die or get shipped off somewhere, but we didn't know how. But now we found out what happened to Howard. What are they going to do with Howard's body? What's going to happen to Hamlin, Hamlin, and McGill? All these questions still have to be answered, but I'm really excited. We have six episodes left, six more episodes, and spoiler alert, if you want to know slight spoilers about what they're going to do, then keep watching. If you don't want to know anything at all, then turn this video off. So, uh, Vince Gilligan already came out and said that, spoiler alert, Walt and Jesse will be back. We figured that. We figured we would see Walt and Jesse, or at least Walt at some point, at the end of Better Call Saul. Well, he confirmed that. And then, spoiler alert, Brian Cranston, who plays Walter White on Breaking Bad, went even further and said that he has a scene, Jesse has a scene, Aaron Paul, and then him and Jesse have a scene together in Better Call Saul. And that these scenes were filmed so long ago, like years ago, he doesn't know when they're going to happen. My guess is that the scenes that they filmed were filmed about the same time that El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, was being filmed. It only makes sense to me. I could be wrong on that, but that would line up with what they're doing. But it's going to be crazy. We don't know what episode it's going to be in. Maybe they're in three episodes total. Like, Jesse has a scene in one, Walt has a scene in one, and then they both have a scene in the final episode of Better Call So, But it's, it's going to be exciting. Uh, what's going to happen to some of these characters that aren't in Breaking Bad, that we didn't see in Breaking Bad, although... They may have been mentioned very briefly in Breaking Bad. Obviously, Lalo Sadamaka, uh, Kim Wexler, and what's going to happen to Saul's crew of camera guy, sound guy, and makeup girl? What is going to happen to them? Are they going to die? Are they going to live? Now, it seems like everything's already been given to us. We have hints of things that are going to happen. There's a gun down in the what is going to be the meth lab that Gus Fring put there. And I'm guessing at some point he's going to shoot Lotto Sanamaka. It would only make sense. And Jimmy and Kim went to see the vet. And they saw that he ha he has that black book with the business card for the vacuum cleaner salesman. So it would lead me to believe that Kim is going to get taken uh, and given a new identity by Ed. Probably by somebody else because the, the uh, actor that played Ed actually died the day that El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, premiered on Netflix. Uh, Robert Forster, so maybe somebody else would be playing him, or they'll use previous scenes to kind of splice it together. So it would make sense that Kim gets a new identity and is, is, is gone, and then Lalo eventually is shot by Gus. And then the the whole future stuff with, with, with Jimmy slash Saul slash uh, Gene, the black and white stuff, he, in my opinion, would eventually get back with Kim or whatever name that she has at this point. But are they throwing us a curveball? Is Kim going to die? Is Lalo Sadamaka going to live? Is Lalo going to get be given a new identity? He is mentioned in Breaking Bad when Saul and, or I'm sorry, when, when Walt and Jesse have him out in the desert and he says, give me a dollar so you can be my client. He mentions, did Lalo send you? So who knows... Uh, what's going to happen? What does Vince Gilligan have up his sleeve for these final six episodes of Better Call Saul? I hope they stick the landing because a lot of shows are good, but the ending isn't necessarily the best, such as Game of Thrones, where there's some things in the final season that I enjoy. Um, Dexter New Blood, that show was solid until probably the last 20 minutes of the finale. And there's, there's other shows I can name, but there's a lot of shows that don't stick the landing. Better Call Saul has been pretty good. Started out slow, but gradually it was interesting and more interesting and more interesting. 
So I'm I'm excited. I can't wait. Come back later on tonight for my review of the episode. Should be posted within an hour after the episode airs, unless something goes wrong where I don't have internet, which I guess could happen. Uh, but I definitely want to have a discussion about the episode. If you have questions, uh, please leave those in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them, but maybe I don't even know. Uh, if you have theories, uh, leave those in the comment section, whether it be this video or the review video of the episode Point and Shoot. But uh, I'm, I'm super excited to see how this, this show is going to end. And are we going to get something else? They've, they've apparently come to... Uh, the agreement they're they're not against any more spin-off shows like they might do something else that happens after Breaking Bad uh, What that will be I don't know. I would love to see a spin-off show. I don't know if this is possible I mean the characters to we, we know are still alive that Jesse teaches Walter jr. How to cook meth. I know it would probably not make sense, but we never to my recollection, Wal uh, Walter Jr. and Jesse never had a scene together in Breaking Bad, and I think that would be pretty cool if Jesse teaches him how to cook meth and they become, like, tight. Obviously, Jesse's in Alaska right now, living what we think is the good life, so something would have to change for him to go back into that business. But I'm excited, and I hope you are too. And of course, if you're a fan of Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad, make sure you're smashing that like button. Uh, if you want to share this video with anybody that you know that likes those shows or put this on any of your social media platforms, please do so. I'm not telling you to do that, but if you want to, I'm not going to complain. Uh, sound off in the comment section on this video or the review videos that I do about what your thoughts are, your scores of the episodes, theories that you have. If you know spoilers already, like complete spoilers that other than Walt and Jesse coming back, I would refrain from doing that. But if you post something like that, half the people aren't going to believe you anyway. And, of course, you're watching the video anyway, so please make sure you're, you're sub, sub, blah, blah, blah. subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special. And remember to come back later on tonight for my review of Season 6, Episode 8. And J-Dev, obviously, will return. <laughs>